Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, as we see in the news, <laughs> you know, this religion is a religion of hypocrisy, and their hypocrisy is beyond imagination. Rashida Talib, who is supposedly she's a Muslim Palestinian, and Ilhan Omar, who is a Muslim and she wear hijab from Somalia, they were arrested because they are against the court which issue banning for abortion so muslims they support abortion <laughs> you know this is the same women both of them they were dancing in the gay festival <laughs> the taqi the taqiya squad <laughs> so Democrat, including personally uh, uh, Omar uh, uh, Cortez. I mean, those are the, the idiots. And Talib. I mean, look and look at this uh, team. Uh, you know, two or three of them they support Allah, and they want to fight the Jews and the Christians and the Hindus and the Buddhas. In the same time, uh, <laughs> you know, they support abortion and they support homosexuality, and they claim to be Muslims. Hmm, interesting. And I will tell you why they do that. See, this religion is religion of Taqiyya, and all Muslims will support them doing that. Because those people, they are elected by Democrat. So in order to be in that place, they have to do what Democrat want. Taqiyya. So, for sure, they don't agree with abortion. But they say to themselves, you know what? The one who want to do abortion anyway is those American. Let the American kill their babies. What we will lose anyway. So as we see here, uh, it says in the news that they were arrested. And uh, for sure, like they arrest them for maybe 15, 20 minutes. Uh, but I find it really amazing how hypocrite those people are. In one hand, they claim that they believe in their God and as you see this woman she wear hijab she is very conservative Muslim always wearing hijab the Talib she don't wear hijab I don't know why look like she is not a believer but in one hand they claim to be a true believers in the religion and in the other hand they support homosexuality and abortion and this is exactly what Islam is about you see, Islam says you cannot take a Christian and Jews as a friends. And for sure, if a Christian and Jews cannot be friends, well, atheists for sure cannot be friends. So how those people are friending the, the most atheist in the world? Taqiyya. Taqiyya is the flag of Islam. And that's why we say Islam without lies dies. If we ask any Muslim, do you support abortion or homosexuality? He will say no way. But you remember the, the, the minister from Pakistan uh, who became a minister for, uh, uh, I forgot, I mean, important job in the UK. Jaweed, uh, Jaweed, I forgot his name. You guys remember him for sure. The same guy, he was dancing with the homosexual too. So here we see how this religion is a religion of double standard. In one hand, they claim to be something. On the other hand, they vote and they act and they work for the opposite, just to get a job. They throw their God and their religion under the bus. And if you ask them, they claim to be very proud Muslims. And actually, I am very proud of you as a Muslim. Thank you very much. Leave your comment and don't forget to give a like and give a support to Ilhan Omar and Rashida Talib. She is fighting for abortion. So if a Muslim woman, she want to get rid of her baby, she will take Ilhan Omar and Rashida Talib as the best example. For, for sure, she is conservative and she is wearing hijab. She is a truly, truly, true Muslim. And if a Muslim woman, she decide to be lesbian, may Allah bless her. She will follow the example of Ilhan Omar who married her own brother. <laughs> Have you ever heard of somebody marrying his brother? <laughs> she did. 
and she cannot deny it. Uh, <coughs> I find it amazing how those people they ex you know ex expose their own uh, belief, how hypocrite they are, and how uh, you know their double standard uh, work in everything in life. A person who he, he claimed to be a believer, well, he does what believers does, and those people always they claim to be something and they do the opposite and this is the case for all over the Middle East all over the Middle East Muslim they claim something they say something in the microphone and in their personal life they do the opposite leave your comment and tell me what do you think should we vote for her I think she deserve our vote look she is a hero she was arrested for supporting abortion that is something take care